two things we need. We need proper funding rules and adequate funding rules so that employers have to actually fund and meet the obligations that they negotiate at the bargaining tables. What happens with United and other employers is, is they, they are granted uh, holidays from, their, from making their contributions based on the returns on the fund. And when the fund returns change like they did in that downturn in 2009, Companies like United found themselves in untenable funding positions and walked away from their obligations. We need proper funding rules and behind that backing it up is we need pension insurance. Those two programs would make sure that the commitments that are made by employers at the bargaining table are met when retirement happens. We're trying to get more money directed to our Canada Pension Plan Fund which is removed from the employers and is guaranteed by the fund itself so that there is no uh, reliance or, or um, uh, risk taken on the part of, of us by, by contributing those funds to an employer managed fund that could be subject to bankruptcy and rules and laws. We earned it, we bargained it, we contributed to our, by ourselves as well and, and it should be guaranteed in some form or fashion or another. But the reluctance of governments to put those kind of obligations or those uh, regulations and obligations on employers is part of the problem. But also we have to be much more vigilant as negotiators to make sure that we not only negotiate pensions, but negotiate the transfer of those funds from those corporate accounts into a pension fund that's jointly trusteed at least, so that we have control of what happens to the fund.